So we are now going to do an artwork inspired by Hokusai's The Great Wave of Kanagawa. This is a picture of his original artwork. We're not going to be copiers, we're going to be creators. So we're inspired by this, but we're not going to copy it exactly. So we might do something that's inspired by it and it might look like this. So this is one that I did earlier. Firstly, I would need to draw my outline and then I will paint it with liquid watercolours, just like this one. Today for my work, I'm using a template that's been done by Patty Palmer on her website, Deep Space Sparkle, and I can find some activities there related to Hokusai's The Great Wave. So let's get ready. So I've got Addy here. Hi. I'm Addie's mum and we're going to do this activity together. So Addie, uh -huh. you can follow along with me. I'll draw first and then you follow. But I want you to be a creator, not a copier. So you are able to do it your own way. Okay. We are different artists, so our, our work's going to look different to each other's and that's okay. Okay, so I don't want it to be exactly the same as mine. So the first thing we do is always the same. Pick up your pencil and write your name. And if you write your class, your artwork won't get lost. Okay, great. Let's get ready. So I'm going to use observation drawing to help me with this activity. So I'm going to be looking at Patty Palmer's template and observing and then following what she's done there. So I will be looking at these lines and doing the same thing by using observation drawing. So the first line I'm going to look at is this line here that goes up from the bottom of the page and then swoops up to the right hand edge. So I'm going to do this one line at a time. If I look at all of the lines, I get a bit confused, but I know I can draw one line. So if I do one line at a time, I will be fine. <laughs> okay, so let's start with this line here. So I'm going to go up from the edge, swoop down. I'm going to touch the bottom of my page and swoop up to the edge again. That looks great. And ours look different. I actually like the way you've done it. It looks great. Your lines are very smooth and flowy. Mine, I had a bit of a beautiful oops here, but I'm not going to worry about that. That's okay. I'm going to go with it and see what happens next. So the next line I'm going to do is this fancy free line. And we all know that fancy free lines are my favorite type of line. They're my favourite type as well. Oh, I love them. They're great. I never know where they're going to go. And these ones are a little bit crazy, so they go all over the place. I'm not going to do mine exactly the same as this. I'm going to do it my way. Okay, so I'm going to do a fancy free line that wibbles and wobbles. Some bits have got edges, some bits are wavy. Bit of a spike here, bit of a yeah. there. Oh, I did another beautiful oops, Addy. I wonder where that's going to take me. That's okay. Now I'm going to do these shapes that are coming in off the side here. Okay, and I can do it my way or I can use observation and try and make it similar. Okay, I'm going to do some wiggle wobbles in mine. I want to do it my way. So I'm now going to move on to this wave line here. So I can see it goes into a curvy wavy line and then it swoops up from there. So and I'm going to, right it does, it's going to touch the edge. So I'm going to start about this far up the edge of my page and do a wavy line and then swoop it down and take it over to the edge. I 
I like how yours looks different to mine. That's great. I'm now going to do my crazy, crazy, fancy free line that goes all the way. It's following the line I just did. Okay, so it's not on top of it, it's beside it, but it's going to go all the way along. And it's fancy free. It's going to go a little bit crazy. That looks great. Yours is looking beautiful, Addy. Very thank good. You. Thank you. Yours uh, looks lovely as well. Thank you. The next thing I'm going to do are these contour lines that are following each other. It's like they're playing a game of follow the leader. They're curved lines and they go from the bottom of the crest of the foam to the next wave. So I'm going to do some curved lines like this. And they're following each other. that it's actually curved yes. like a real wave even though it's just a few curvy lines so the next wavy line that I'm going to do is this one that goes at the top of this wave where that wave is cresty and I'm just going to do that one wavy line. So it's coming off the edge of my page back here. I'm just going to move this out of the way so I can do that line. Mm -hmm. It's coming here and it's going up, over and stop. All right. So, right here. Whoosh! Great. Now we're going to do another crazy, crazy, fancy free line that goes from the top here and all the way over to the edge of my page. Great. And again, I've got those curved contour lines I'm not going to do a boat. If you want to do a boat, you can. It's up to you, but I'm going to leave the boat out. I think I'll do a boat. Okay, so I'm going to do my first curved line starting here, and the others are going to follow the leader. I like how yours is cresting over. I think I did a beautiful oops here. I, I think next time I would not start here. I would start further back. So I've got some big frothy bits here and I would make these lines a bit curvier. But that's okay. All right, I'm now going to do this curved line that's going from the bottom here and up to the edge of my page and up, going off my page. And then I'm going to do this fancy free line that goes here to make my foam or froth. Okay, great. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is this line here, which is my horizon line. That's where the sea meets the sky. So I'm going to come straight across here to do my horizon line. And that line is a straight line. Good job. I'm now going to do my Mount Fuji. Okay, so this is my mountain with the snow on top. And I'm going to put it right in the middle here. So it goes up and down. So basically I've made a triangle. How you do it is up to you, Addy. You might have a curved um, peak, peak here, whereas mine's a sharp angle. It's up to you make mine a bit wobblier so it looks like natural rock. It looks interesting, I like it. It's beautiful. 
And now I'm going to do my fancy free line here, wibbly wobbly line, and that's going to be my snowy peak on top of my Mount Fuji. Okay, so I'm done. I think we're now ready to add some colour to our artworks. I'm going to put my lid on my marker so it doesn't dry out. Put his hat on. And our next step is to decorate our artwork using liquid watercolours. Let's go.